G'day, welcome to part two of the IBM rebuild. So this is the main board after it's been cleaned and washed from the previous one. Looking nice. It's going to do these capacitors, but uh, it's not. I've only got time to start cleaning up this thing, the CPU cooler. So it looks like it's nickel plated. You can just tell by the shininess that's nickel. So uh, we're just going to pull it apart, give it a clean out and replate it if necessary um because yeah it's all i don't know what this was exposed to this poor heat sink but it looks like some kind of corrosive environment that's made all the nickel plating all bubble i don't know if you can see that so we'll give it a good wire brush and uh find some nickel somewhere and give it a replate okay so we're just gonna take the fan off Pretty rusty. Sheesh. Yeah, that's stuck. Wow, look at that corrosion. Yeah, that's pretty much what I expected. What do we got? Yeah, the fan might be recoverable actually. Feels like the bearings are right. I might just clean that up and uh, clean the bearing out, I think. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty feral. So anyway, I'm just going to bring this to the sink and just give it a hot water bath. Um, pull those clips off. Where do they sit? In there. Yeah. Alright, so I'm just going to do these and then go give it a wash. Alright, so we're pulling it apart. This screw is in so tight because of the rust. Look at this, you can see all the... It's all just flaking off. I think it's just aluminium underneath, so maybe... Oh, look at that. What kind of environment was this in for that to happen? Look at all the nickels just like scraping off. <laughs> yeah, we have to go over this. Probably use a, a wire brush and a power drill, um, but yeah, we've still got to get this screw out. So we're going to drill that out and pull it apart even further. There you go. I think that's yeah, that's it. So oh, look at that! Just come, clips out like that. Wow, that's so rusted. There we go. So there's the core. So let's go give that a clean up in the sink. Alright, so we're going to give this a quick hot water wash. And then we're going to go over it with some vinegar. Try and get that corrosion off. So there's still a bit of crud in there, but um. All right, we'll clean that after we uh, get all this stuff off anyway. So clean the fan. Right, just give it a once over with the uh, electric wire brush. It's gotten all that plating off. Still a few areas I couldn't quite get to, so I'm just going to have to manually do that with a small wire brush. So yeah, let's get to it. So 
So I've got the pressure washer set up, so I'm just going to bring it out there and give it a good blasting. So let's get to it. Alright, so we've got our chickens and we've got the case. So I'm not going to worry about pulling the electrical things out. Um, I can clean those out with contact cleaner after. Without the speaker we've got to... No, it's not even attached to anything. So yeah. Cable is probably not a good idea to get wet. And I'm just going to blast the power supply with water. Um, probably open it before I do that. And the trick is to make sure you get the water out quickly once you finish cleaning this stuff. If you're thinking uh, you shouldn't be using a pressure washer to clean a computer. But done correctly, perfectly fine. Um, like I said in previous videos, it's all about making sure the moisture is removed from areas that can cause corrosion. Um, in this case, there's no chips or anything, so pretty straightforward. And the weather's nice and warm at the moment, so it's perfect for it. After a good blast, you can see there's rust there, so I'm just going to convert that rust back to grey steel. And um, if it looks alright, leave it like that. If not, we'll uh, replate it with some zinc. Yeah, 17th of January 2005. <laughs> So yeah, inside of the supply is pretty much what I expected, pretty gross. I'm not sure if I'll uh, keep this or not. I'll probably gut it, put something modern inside of it. Not sure yet, but either way I'm just going to clean it. So either way it's nicer to work on. If you're ever planning on keeping a fan, it's not ideal to do this, but uh, I'm replacing this either way, so it's perfectly fine. Alright, sitting on the ladder, drying in the shed. So like I said before, Anything electrical, we'll just clean out with um, contact cleaner. That'll draw all the moisture out so the water won't soak it. So I'm just going to go through every connection, including that USB port that I sprayed before. Make sure I give it a good blast of water so there's no water in there to corrode any connections or buttons. Uh, also going to go through the power supply. It's drying underneath it. And... Um, once I put the phone back down again, give all those connectors a good wash out with the cleaner to make sure there's no moisture hanging around. Okay, so everything's been blasted out now. So let's wait for the water to dry and all the cleaner to evaporate. And move on to the next step after that. So the 
case is all nice and dry now. It's been a uh, drying here above a whirly bird, sucking the air through. Yeah. And power supply is dry as well. Not sure if I'm going to use this power supply. Um, yeah, even if it works, it's pretty old. So I've got this right here that I've found. So I've got this, an old Antec, which used to be a really good brand. Um, modular power supply, 430 watts. So this has been unused since, ooh, I reckon I bought this in like 2008. So I think I might find it at home and put it in the IBM instead of using the original power supply. I could redo it, but as you can see, it's quite rusty. So I don't know if I can... There's nothing special about this power supply. It's just a power supply. It's nice and clean now, thanks to all the water. Um, caps all seem all right. I don't know. I just don't know if I trust it because I want to put some... Like a nice video card and everything in this so it's probably best i just put a power supply in that i trust i think all right so we've got the rusty drive plate i could probably just spray paint it but i'm gonna use this rust buster so we're gonna paint some of that on and see how it goes Alright, so the rust converter has done its job, converting well, the majority of the rust into grey steel. So I'm just going to put it in a tub with some sand, used in a sand blaster, and agitate that just to get all the stuff off. Um, I don't have an air compressor currently, otherwise I'd use a sand blasting gun, so let's see how that works. Okay, so it turns out it's incredibly tedious trying to shake something metallic in a container. So I've got this motor gearbox. So I'm just going to make a quick ad hoc tumbler to save me a bit of time. Okay, so they give us the angle we need. It's just a base plate. So I'm just going to attach all this. And using some offcuts of wood I had laying around, make like a like a U shape. Uh, how about I just do it and then you'll understand what I mean. Pretty dodgy, but it's solid enough for now. So we just put some power on that connector. 
put our tub in there that rotates so let's see how it goes let's go hook it up to a power supply okay so we're gonna cut the wires we don't need any of those they're all uh, speed sense and whatnot just a brown one Before we do that, we will fire up our power supply that is not plugged in. Okay, now we've got power. Let's set the voltage a little bit lower. We'll start at 6 volts. I believe this is a 24 volt motor. So let's fire it up. Oh, there it goes. It's out of control. There it is. Wow. It's already like uh, faster than I was expecting. Off the rack. Round and round it goes. Let's see, let's turn up the volts. Let's turn the volts down actually. We get slower. How slow can we go? Wow, that's pretty slow. What's that? Three volts. All right, well, let's put our uh, mixer on there. So here we go. Safety first. We don't want this thing falling off, putting sand everywhere. There you go. Right. Tub's on. Let's turn it on. Whoa, that's really slow. I think we need to turn the bolts up. Oh, there we go. She's spinning. Faster, faster. So this stuff, you really shouldn't breathe it in. So I've got a mask on at the moment and I'm going to leave it on with a lid on. Let's see how fast we can go. Faster, faster. Oh, eight volts. Should get pretty fast. How fast can it go? 12 volts. 13, 14, she's out of control, she's faster, faster. Oi, it's not even doing anything now. Let's see, where I can the best. We want to move around the sand, let's have a look. Seven volts. Yeah, that's good. So you just want the sand moving over whatever it is you're trying to clean. That's pretty sweet there. So we'll uh, leave that running, put the lid on. Let it go. All right, so that's all I'm going to do for part two, part three. Just to update, we are waiting for a few capacitors for this board. There's a 1500 farad um, UF microfarad capacitor that I'm waiting for that I don't have and I can't buy local electronic stores. So as soon as that arrives in the mail, We'll fix the board and finish cleaning up these parts. Like the uh, test the CD drive. All we're gonna do is clean the dust off those pretty much. And that fan too, I'll show you how to fix up a fan. So till part three, I'll catch you later.